Coming up today on Better, it's the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's not Christmas. It's Prime Day, and it's tomorrow. We talk to the experts on how you can score the best deals. Plus, if you're at home all day with your toddler, we're showing you some fun activities you can do, and they will learn, too. And how about pampering your pooch? We're talking about ways you can make your fur child feel special. Your day is about to get better, starting right now. We're in the same suit. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Better Connecticut. I've got the same suit on <laughs> that I did in my promo. I was like, hey, that's the same tie. Now, we are going to get to the Better Mailbag, where someone noticed it is a little snugger. Oh, my goodness. A little snugger than it was uh, just a couple of uh, years ago. But it still fits. I'm <laughs> squeezing what? my body into it. As long as you can get into it. As long as I get into it. Irene O'Connor, nice to see you. Hey, nice to be here. It's nice to see it's you. It's nice to see you, too. Hey, so welcome back. You were on vacation. I was on vacation. Yeah. And I heard you did a little fill-in and during the mornings. I did, so during the mornings, was, uh, little yes. under the weather. Yeah, a little under so the weather. So it was good. I'm nice sorry I missed back. you. I know. I'm sorry I missed you. But here we are. Here we are. Six feet away. That's it. And everything is great. All right, so the Los Angeles Lakers, Yes, they, they won, won the whole thing. They won the whole thing. And, boy, it was such an unusual season, season for every, you know, major sport. But, look, there they are. Anthony James, I mean, Anthony Davis, LeBron James. You know what? It's been a heck of a time for them. It All really the has. NBA teams were isolated in the bubble in Walt well, Disney World. You know, many of them away from their families. I think one of the uh, commentators was saying last night, they were like, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, you know, two of the stars of the Lakers, they were playing like they didn't want to stay in a another hotel night, room. Uh, they didn't want to stay another night in a hotel room. And the uh, final score was, what, 106 to 93. Yeah, they beat the Miami Heat last night. So, well, good yeah. for them. And we, the three months in a bubble. In a bubble. And you know what was so weird? Because, you know, my family and I were Celtics fans, so we were watching the Celtics. It's like they had virtual fans, so everybody was on a screen. So while they were playing, it was like they were playing a pickup game. No oh, fans. I, I had the, yeah. uh, I don't know what football game I had on yesterday but it was on cbs like towards the evening news and i was in another room and it sounded like there was a yeah. hundred thousand people in the there's audience hundred thousand people there and there was there's nobody there it's complete silence it's, it's, when you're actually there when you're actually there isn't that amazing <laughs> that's just absolutely it's amazing. amazing i thought it was like a brilliant idea frankly. it is it's terrific yeah all it was right, very now, cool this lost elephant seal i feel so bad for it Aww. but apparently they say this happens all the time in this chilean city take oh a look at this, this little poor guy seal. oh, oh my god He's lost. He's just, uh, they, they say these critters, their natural habitat in that area this time of year, they sometimes stroll down the street, but it took the local media, uh, the marine animal was returned to the sea that the same night that people spotted it by the help of neighbors and the Chilean Navy. Oh, my goodness. Could you imagine the Navy being called out? Be <laughs> well, it's a Navy SEAL. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Ah! I was just going to say that. I beat you to it. You beat me to it once again. Hey, so how about this? Dogs being trained to smell the coronavirus. So, okay, so dogs are completely awesome anyway. Absolutely I mean, awesome. They can do I'm surprised just about you don't anything. have one yet. I, we are about to get one, I think. Really? I think we're about to get one. Yep. Looking, oh. for, looking for a dog who needs a home. But anyway, oh, look at them. Look at these dogs. So, so they're being trained to sniff out the coronavirus. Which is incredible. Yeah, this, this whole team of researchers say they could learn to smell the coronavirus. So they'd be placed at, like, you know, major uh, checkpoints, like in airports sure. or schools or, you well, know. They're saying that they're yeah. asking people who are recently diagnosed to wear the same T-shirt for 20 24 hours and then donate the t-shirt okay. so that the dogs can get the scent of the t-shirt and they'll be able to keep saying is if the, is there similar sweat patterns on the t-shirts of people with coronavirus and that way the dogs will be able right. to sniff them out which i think is just great That's imagine imagine a dog coming up fantastic. to you sniffing you He's and like, saying hey bark <laughs> Hey, get out of here. You got coronavirus. Oh, my God, those dogs. I just love dogs. They're so fantastic. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes. Your boys are 11. Yep, my boys are 11 now. Would, Can would, you they, believe it? would they have any desire to steal a school bus? Um, I'd have to ask them, but I don't think so. I, I don't think so either. <laughs> you know how kids are at 11 years old. They're kids. They're kids. But the police in Baton Rouge, yes. Louisiana, they say an 11-year-old is charged with stealing the school bus Sunday afternoon. Oh, took it for a my little, God. Took it for a little joy ride, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. 
I don't think I would be, you know, brave enough to steal a look school the, bus. Look at the damage. Oh, look my gosh. Look at the gosh. damage. 11 oh, years old. Oh, my God. He Thank he's, God he's okay. He said he saw the school bus in a schoolyard, and uh, he wanted to have a little uh, joy ride. So it took him, they took the police on a 45-minute uh, wild goose chase to catch the 11-year-old, and they finally caught him, caught up to him. You know, it's, it, it's not easy to drive a school bus. I, I've never driven a school bus. I, I've never driven a school bus either, either but, you know, I admire people who do it it's you got it's it's not easy it's not easy no no this Thanks. next this next woman reminds me of you <laughs> high achiever she's a high achiever <laughs> i know right an illinois woman gave birth in the middle of the bar exam <laughs> okay craziness loyola can't talk today loyola university school of law grad brianna hill says the pandemic okay so it pushed her bar exam date closer to her due date. Right. Okay, so the virtual test has four 90-minute sections that students take over two days. After the first part, Hill says her water broke. Her midwife told her she keep did Keep going. Not, yeah, keep going. She did not have to go to the hospital right away, so Hill finished the second part of the test. That night, she delivered this baby boy. How cute. Aww. Oh, so sweet. Now, is that legal to have? I, did, I know. Is that legal? Is that, is that legal to have a, have a baby during the bar exam? <laughs> it's just like, okay, just work it's up too until bad your due date. It's too bad she didn't have a girl. She would name it Barbie. <laughs> bar Bar B. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I get it. All right. Apple is expected to introduce a new line of iPhones <laughs> tomorrow uh, after weeks of delays due to the pandemic. They're going to make the screen that much bigger multiple reports yep. indicate apple will unveil four new phones and they're going to make the screen what six inches yes, like six inches or so. so take a look at what it's going to look like in your back pocket okay. this is what you're going to have to yep there it is <laughs> <laughs> there's the there's the new iphone it's getting bigger and bigger every day bigger and bigger did you have one of those when you were growing up <laughs> i certainly did we had one with the um the the tv in one part and the stereo in the other the, the big wood console yeah absolutely <laughs> it was fantastic so that's what the new iphone looks like what is it uh, uh 6.7 inches that's a half that's, a foot that's like completely how can you fit you can't fit that in your back pocket i think, that that's this. I think that it's this, this. I isn't this it, an ipad isn't this six inches i don't know we we'll have to figure it out how are you gonna fit that i'm in still your trying pocket? to figure out how my iphone works but I mean, that's you, whole thing. you and me both <laughs> i figure out new things every day i'm like i just oh. call peter canoni Hello, Peter. Thank God for Peter. And Ed as well. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> exactly. Uh, unfortunately, the show's not going to go on on Broadway. Know. This is really, really sad. Yeah. Broadway is going to remain dark through the end of next May. Next May. Yeah, making for more than a year without the Great White Way. You know, performances have been suspended due to the pandemic since March. Can you believe it? All the productions and, and another eight that were in rehearsals. You know, and you're not down. only talking about Broadway, you're talking about all of the traveling shows that go into right. each city. The Bushnell, Hartford Stage. I mean, just think about all the revenue yeah. lost in this city alone. Oh. And that's multiplied by X amount of cities all across the nation. Right. No shows, no concerts, no venue. And yeah. now they're announcing it that they're yeah. not going to have it until at it's least May. It's very devastating. I mean, I knew it was going to be a while, but I didn't think it was going to be until next May. But, you know, they got to do what they got to do to keep people safe. But, boy, that's devastating. That is devastating. Oh, Gal Gadot, uh, she's going to play Cleopatra. Yeah. Coming up in the new Paramount movie, uh, you know, there's been a lot of these uh, a lot Cleopatra, of a lot of speculation and a lot of um, Cleopatra projects that have been kind of tossed around over the last few years. One of them, Lady Gaga, yeah, yeah, Lady Gaga. Can you imagine that? Or Angelina Jolie, Angelina possibly. Jolie. So maybe she's the person. Uh, she's the person to. Uh, I play love it. this the fact that um, um, Elizabeth Taylor. Yes. It, they said that um, in her role as Cleopatra, she almost bankrupt the production company, 20th Century Fox, went nearly bankrupt. Uh, Taylor's version proved to be so costly. Oh, my God. Could you God. imagine the whole company almost went bankrupt? The whole company because of that? Because of Elizabeth Taylor's one role as Cleopatra? <laughs> Moses, <laughs> Moses. <laughs> That was We're, quite a production. Know, right. <laughs> all right, for the latest celebrity news, watch the all-new People TV right here on Channel 3 at 7.30. That's right. Let's check in with Kay and Lawrence for a preview. Tonight, here's what people are talking about. My name is Dale. I, I really do feel this is going to be special. I agree. Yeah, I can't wait to see inside. I can't wait either. Only People has this Bachelorette preview. Oh, man. I definitely feel like I just met my husband. I'm shaking.
Then Mary J. Blige on Breast Cancer Awareness Month and why it means so much to her. I had an aunt who passed from breast cancer. Plus the long-awaited West Wing cast reunion tonight on People. That's the exact same feeling I had when I met you. <laughs> I said, I met my wife, my television wife. My television wife. Except you have to fight that for Kara. Yep, we're fighting it out.